In readers and in writers, this week is all about relationships. Whether it's friends or siblings or classmates or even enemies, all of these relationships break down into two categories. First, relationships where two people complement each other or fit together and the people that we clash with. When two people kind of butt heads or have friction between them. So today for writers, we're going to focus on the people who complement us, meaning that together you and them make up a whole or make each other better. Now, there is more than one way that people can complement us. One way you might fit together is because you and that other person are so alike. It's almost like you're two peas in a pod. Now, the other way that can happen is you might fit with someone because you are totally different than them. And because of that, you bring out the best in each other. Instead of just telling you about the people in my life who are like this, I thought, hey, why don't you meet them? So come with me as I introduce you to two of my very best friends who I fit with, but for very, very different reasons. All right, sixth graders, so I want you to meet one of my very best friends in the entire world. And when I say the entire world, I really mean it because right now Meta is coming to you from Norway. Tell us a little bit about what you do and can you show us a little bit of, about of where you live? I'm, uh, I'm Meta. I'm 29 years old. I live in Norway. I play soccer and I'm a kindergarten teacher. And where I live, it's all the way in northern Norway, and this is how it looks outside my window. Oh my gosh. So Meta and I, we started off as teammates, like she said, but it, like very quickly we became more than teammates. We had uh, soccer in common, so we did have something that we both uh, liked doing, even though that probably wasn't the main reason we became friends. <laughs> so even though we come from really different parts of the world, there's a lot that uh, there's a lot about us that's alike. I think we've always had a really good uh, chemistry, and it's been really easy to to get to know you, and always uh, been feeling like we've been friends and never really had any big disagreements. Also, when uh, I needed a friend, or maybe you needed a friend, you were easy to talk to also about things that wouldn't be so easy to talk to anyone with. When I reviewed the video of Meta and me talking, the word that I heard over and over again was easy. I really believe that from the very start, it was so easy to be friends with Meta because we were so alike. Now, I'm about to introduce you to another friend, and that wasn't exactly how it started with me and Kelsey. I want you guys to meet uh, someone I've told you about throughout the year, uh, my bestie from college, Kelsey Lynch. Uh, you might remember her as curly-headed Kelsey. Kelsey, can you start off by telling us a little bit about uh, what you do, what you do for fun? Sure. Well, as Rosie said, my name is Kelsey Lynch. I, for fun right now, a lot of what I do is studying. I'm in medical school, so I'm in my second year, about to start my third once all of this craziness ends. But beyond studying for fun, I like to go hiking and biking. A lot of outdoor stuff. Kelsey and I go way back actually. We first met when we went to a soccer camp when we were in middle school. And Kelsey, can you tell what you remember from that camp? What I remember about Rosie, she was the shyest person ever. And we were playing this one card game on a trip, right? We were in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And it was called Plagger. And basically, if you were the Plagger, you had to run around and flash a card to people and they would catch the plague. And then you had to guess who it was at the end. But I remember you were sitting in the hallway making a phone call. And I was walking between hotel rooms and I saw you sitting there and I was going to plug you and I flashed the card and you just stared at me blankly. <laughs> so I walked all the way over and I was like, did you see me do that? And you're like, yeah. And I just said, okay. And you said, okay, bye. And then I walked back in the room and I think those were the most words you said to me that entire two week trip. 
And so then when I found out we were going to college together, I was a little nervous because I didn't think you'd say anything because the Rosie I knew was very, very shy. And yep. I'm not shy, I guess I'll say. No. So my from my side of the story, I was at this camp in middle school, just absolutely terrified. And Kelsey was like the most outgoing person there. She was friendly and inclusive to everybody, including me. Like I remember her coming up with the card and I just like, have you ever had that moment where you just like freeze and you don't even know what you could say? So I was just overwhelmed by her coolness. Oh yeah. <laughs> so flash forward to college and I'm like, oh, Kelsey's, Kelsey's on the team. She's so cool. I thought we were so different. There's no chance we'd ever be friends. Gosh, I don't even remember how we became friends because I just feel like it happened, right? Do you? Well, the sto it's funny because the story that I always tell them is that I knew that you were going to be my friend when you wet willied me. <laughs> Damn at, God, at do people do that still? Uh, apparently you did. But yeah. So Kelsey, what would you say is different about us? I think the biggest thing is I feel like you think before you act and speak and I'm a little more impulsive. So it's nice to have a friend like that because I hope some of that wore off on me, you know? See, and I think that the thing that... Uh, like helped me grow is that you were really outgoing and adventurous and you took chances where I was more cautious. So I went on so many more adventures and trips during college because of Kelsey than I would have if I was just in charge. Um, so I think we kind of balanced each other. I think that's a good way to put it. I would describe you as cautious. I didn't want to say that in case you didn't feel that way, but I definitely would say that. Yeah. But it's funny because I feel like, I feel like even just throughout this pandemic shut down mm. you called me in the beginning just when you were trying to figure out how to handle it and I know when I was trying to get into med school I called you with my problem so it's interesting it's nice to see that we both have each other to call when we're struggling with things I think it's nice to be able to have each other to talk to about it since we're both different people I feel like you bring a different perspective of how to handle that you know mm -hmm. I think it's good to have someone who's different than you too just because like I said we recognize different character traits in each other so I think if we were similar, it would be hard to see maybe the positive sides of ourselves because maybe those would be the same things in each other. But I know for me, like when I was worried about getting into med school or thinking I wouldn't get into med school, you know, I called you and you were like, you're smart, you'll be able to do it, which I didn't think at the time. But it's nice to have someone who could be your cheerleader because they might be able to see things you don't see in yourself when you're different. As you can tell, Kelsey and I could not be more different in personality. And at first, we even thought we would never be friends. But it turns out that our differences actually made each other stronger and has made our friendship super strong for over 13 years. So, sixth graders, it's time for you to think. First, of a friend or a sibling or a classmate who compliments you because you're so alike. Two, you're going to think of a friend or a classmate or a sibling who compliments you, but because you're so different. So sixth graders, check out the Google Slides. Think about your friends. You could even interview them just like I interviewed my friends. Our relationships are so important right now, more than ever. So taking the time to talk with your friends, taking the time to think about your friends, it's something that's gonna make you feel better and remind you that you've got a whole team behind you. Remember, I've got your back. If you've got any questions, make sure to email me and I will help you out. Enjoy writing about your friends.